Welcome back, everybody. We're what, day three? Day three. Your faithful host got burnt yesterday. Burnt, burnt, burnt. Had a really bad migraine, so I laid down last night. She went to go eat. Apparently, she made more friends. And I don't look that burnt right now until I take my shirt off. Our first thing to do is to go find some sunblock today. And some aloe so that I can enjoy the rest of the trip. So, note to your beers if you are tasty, do not day drink. Or be in a saltwater pool. Any of the above, you know, it's whatever. <clears throat> I should be tan after this though, once the, the burn goes away. I haven't been tan in like 15 years, so that's gonna be a plus. I'm looking forward to it, just not right now. We have like 30 minutes before we dock. We're going to go upstairs and go check it out and hopefully get off the ship. So stick with us. We're about to get off the boat, go explore Cozumel, see what we can get into. So we have officially made it to. Mexico. We're tired, guys. <laughs> Another ship docked there. Blind looks super red right there. <laughs> yeah, it was a long day yesterday. We're not going to talk about that. So, we're going to go find out where we got to get off the ship. I think they're about to tell us. Good morning, Cruiser Now, come to the fantastic viewers. We have Clear by the local officials with me. You can go on there and enjoy your day in beautiful Cozumel. Now, folks, we're going to get off the ship this morning. We've got two gateways available for you. Both are on deck zero. Mariachi music. It's fucking awesome. <laughs> Cannot wait to move down here. Won't be on this side, but still be Mexico. Oh yeah. Oh drinks, some chips and salsa or pico, whatever you want to call it. And then we're going to go hopefully check out, maybe find something to rent to drive around. I don't know. We'll see. She, she's scared of riding with me on that scooter. <laughs> so we may end up even looking at like one of the little dune buggy things. Just depends on how much they cost. But we're going to eat. Let you know what this place is like. We're at the Pirate's Cove. Literally as soon as you walk across the street into town. So, we're gonna go from there. That's definitely good. Just 
just rented our scooter. Let me tell you, this thing is sketchy. I'm used to riding motorcycles and stuff. This thing is so light. <laughs> Like with two people on it, if you don't know what you're doing, you can hit the ground real quick. So just pay the extra money and get the air conditioned Jeep. Yeah. Throw these bad boys on. It is too bright for all this. So that's what we ended up getting. You know, it's not quite what I'm used to, but you know, sometimes you gotta swallow your ego. <laughs> but we're fixing to check out this map, find some stuff to go check out and I don't know, find a beach, so. It's hot. Yeah, it's very hot. So if you're ever in another country and you plan on renting a vehicle, whether it be a scooter or Jeep or, you know, whatever's available, a uh, good pro tip, whenever you're getting ready to get the keys, do a complete walk around and video record it. That way, if you ever do find yourself on the wrong end of a scam, you have some video proof that'll help you out if you ever need it. So. Take that advice and I hope it helps you. Alright, so we just stopped. We're uh, at the Playa Mia. Like a, a beach resort, I guess. I don't know. Trying to find somewhere we can hang out on the beach, get some drinks and some food. Then we're going to go explore the rest of the island when we leave. So, y'all stick with us. That's just from like an hour and a half in the pool yesterday. But it was a salt water pool. Yeah, we're about to be in like real salt water. <laughs> so, we're gonna go get in the water, get my GoPro out here in a minute, and we'll have some fun. person to come down here which I got drinks food um, I have extra stuff if you want to pay more but uh, it was definitely worth it nice beach clean swimming area bathrooms Good wash drinks. off shower Cheap water. Uh, yeah they got bottled water and stuff here if you need that too so definitely you, not safe yeah if you're ever coming down here and you're looking for a beach with amenities uh, this one was a good one I would recommend it so we're going to hop on the scooter Make a trip around the island, grab a few drone shots, and then we're gonna go return it, check out a little bit of shopping. She wants some Starbucks before we leave. Then we'll be getting back on the boat and headed to Progresso tomorrow. So, hope y'all are having fun. We are. Thank you. Okay, so we have one more stop before we get on the scooter. We're gonna get chocolate, that's probably gonna melt.
because of the island now, pulled over here, we're literally like right off the edge of the ocean here. And it is very blue. If you're down here though, be careful because there are snakes. Not sure what that guy is, but <laughs> potentially poisonous. Um, and try to get a little bit of footage riding. Um, that way we can throw it in this video. Somewhere along here, I'm gonna try to put my drone up and get some footage. I don't know if I can right here because we're right by the eco park. So, other than that, I'll stick with us. We're making our way around. We're at the bottom side of the, the island now. So. All right, we're about to check these guys out real quick. I ain't got a lot of time to fly, so we're gonna throw it up and try to get a few good shots. is over I have to look up the, the name of the business uh, it was kind of sketchy at first not even a lot but uh, everything went smooth no scams uh, they didn't try to hold our stuff in exchange for extra money or nothing like that no it was a really good overall experience I mean the guys were a little pushy but it was definitely uh, they were nice and accommodating free speaking yeah the scooter for the day it cost us 25 bucks um, per yeah, per person. Uh, we got the extra insurance, so it came out to what, $70, $70 for the day. Uh, with the way people drive down here, I definitely recommend getting the extra insurance. Uh, you get over in the main part of town, it's kind of sketchy over there. <laughs> um, outside of that, though, I would highly recommend if you're coming here on a cruise for sure, you know, rent something if you have the, the money to do it and get out and kind of explore the island. It's beautiful. It has the short skirt that Carnival offers and look at the, the culture and the land here. Plus, uh, you know, if you're going to do excursions, you can get them cheaper if you get them off the boat away from this main little area that we're in. Uh, you can't go wrong. Fun town. Uh, definitely like to come back and check out the main part of town, like the, the more authentic side of it, outside of just the beaches. But outside of that, I would highly recommend it. You know, everybody says it's super touristy, and it can be, but if you're willing to get off the beaten path just a little bit, there's a lot to explore here, there's a lot to do. Uh, I'm excited to come back and try some more authentic food here. We didn't have a lot of time this time, but next time we will at Progresso, we're probably gonna do a lot of food there and just hang out on the beach. So should have a little bit more content tomorrow. So we're going to walk around, do a little bit of shopping, and we'll catch y'all as we're leaving and get back on the boat. through where they're trying to get you with all the compulsory buys. <laughs> it was hard. It was so hard. There was so many Mexican chocolates I wanted to get. I'm going to be so burnt tomorrow. It's unreal. <clears throat> Check this out real quick though. to get on the ship so we can get up there drop all this stuff and go get something to eat catch y'all in a minute
She's making fun of me. She's still wiping this stuff on me. <laughs> I know, because I'm going to laugh at you while I'm doing it. Thank goodness All for right. Mexico, because the ship don't have aloe. How's your hair? You hear that? Yeah. We can't ever fully get in the water, because she's always like, it's my hair, my hair. I got it in the water. But did you get your hair in the water? No, because I look like a wild man. Exactly. <laughs> now we're going to go find some, well, it's not exactly brunch, but we're going to go find something to eat real quick before dinner. We're hungry. We were going to eat again while we were out there, but we just kind of ran out of time. So making the southern portion of that trip is a little longer than, than what you think it will be. So make sure to plan accordingly. Especially if you're on a scooter, they don't go that fast. And, I mean, they can go fairly quick, but they feel very, <laughs> very sketchy. to take a nap before dinner so just add a little bit of sushi at the sushi at sea add a little bit of clips of that it's not much it's like a little little walkway thing <laughs> but it was good uh the sushi was really good so <clears throat> come on the carnival cruise highly recommend the sushi it's it's definitely worth it later see y'all in a little bit <clears throat> uh did you want to say something A few moments later. Don't mind the mess. <laughs> or the red faces. <laughs> you can see where my sunglasses were. <laughs> you can. And where my hat was. Bam. Oh, it's terrible. <clears throat> Use sunscreen, folks. <laughs> yes. The sun here is stupid. Like, I swear I could have heard the sound of bacon sizzling <laughs> when we was on the scooter today. <laughs> It's like, <laughs> uh, well, anyways, we weren't able to take a nap. Like, I was so bummed out. So we just got cleaned up and we're fixing to go check out, I guess, some of the shops here on the boat. And then we're fixing to go grab a bite to eat for dinner. So we're gonna catch the comedy show tonight. It's at like 11 and then whatever else they're doing on the ship tonight. No, I don't have a headache tonight. I do need some more water though. I still feel dehydrated. Pro tip, hydrate. <clears throat> Even if you think you're hydrated, hydrate some more. You can never have enough water. Uh, what else? What else? What else? Uh, they're supposed to be doing some kind of like 80s and 90s music on the Lido deck. Oh my god, that's scary. With all the lights and everything. So we're definitely going to get some video of that. <laughs> go out and out here and people watch. That, that's probably my favorite thing to do when I'm videoing. <laughs> it's <is> so <laughs> Watching people. So it's going to be fun. Stick with us. We'll be there here in a little bit. pick up after stuff don't be that person that like all around or you know destroys the ocean uh, you can see a little bit so about what, 30 40 miles away from dinner and okay, catch us a little bit of a sunrise real quick as soon as i ain't got one yet <laughs> since we've been on the ship so we're gonna stay here for a few minutes and capture the sunset for you and then we're gonna go eat 
really good again. I don't have to eat alone. Yeah, I passed out last night. That's why the vlog ended abruptly. I had a bad, bad migraine. So tonight it's going down. This menu, it lights up. Never seen no shit like that. <laughs> uh, apparently do not fit in here. We are at the Alchemy Bar waiting for dinner. I think we're gonna have us a drink. Oh, we'll give it a shot. I'll give it a whirl. Anybody ever seen Home Alone 1? <laughs> I'll give it a whirl. See, I'm like 15. Check out that view. Uh, we're gonna order something. We'll show you what it looks like and let you know what we think.